Welcome back to Empower In. I'm Carolyn Cora Thomas. Thank you so much for watching. So today I have a video request from Andrea and Nessa Forever. And it says, can you make a video on being sensitive in the nursing field? How to be strong for your patients and avoid tears. So I really like this video request because this is something that we definitely deal with on a daily basis. And it is really important to be strong for your patients. When I read this request, there's two specific things that come to mind. And the first thing is like the physical pain that we as nurses have to sometimes inflict upon our patients. When I was a new nurse and I had to start IVs on my patients, I had a really, really hard time focusing on what I was doing because I was actually so kind of like feeling the pain that the patient would be feeling. I was just kind of like putting myself in that person's um, place and imagining how much I was hurting them and what that was doing was it was making me feel terrible and I wasn't able to focus on my job so one way that I dealt with that was I realized that first of all the way I was behaving was not helping anybody it wasn't helping my patient get better it wasn't helping them get the medic you know the necessary medications that they needed and it was only making me feel bad too so what I did was, while I was doing these procedures that sometimes cause pain, instead of focusing on the needle going into the skin and then penetrating the vein and, you know, that was just a painful thought to me. What I did was I would focus on, you know, their kidneys needing the nutrition or the, their kidneys needing the fluid and needing to be flushed and rehydrated and, and things like that. And so I would focus on the beneficial value that I was adding instead of the just short term pain. So it was kind of like thinking about things in long term. It's the same thing with Foley catheters. It's the same thing with wound care or doing other minor procedures that we have to do. We just have to think in the future and what's going to be best for the patient right then. I remember when I was working on a surgical unit, um, the surgeon came to me one day and he was like, you know, your patient hasn't gotten out of bed yet. And I'm thinking, oh my God, they just had surgery yesterday at 7 a.m. Like, oh my gosh, like he went them out of bed. And I felt terrible. And I went in there and I was like, I'm really sorry. I have to tell you to get out of bed. You need to walk. The surgeon wants you to walk right now. And I felt so bad. And now that I'm an experienced nurse, I know that the best thing for that patient to get better is to get up and get moving, to use that incentive spirometer, to just get that blood flowing. And so I'm actually more passionate than ever to actually get my patients out of bed and to get them moving because I've seen the long-term good effects that come from that. The second thing that comes to mind when I think about being strong for my patients and avoiding tears is sometimes the emotional situations that we will find ourselves in as nurses. Now, I work on an adult telemed surge floor. So for the most part, my patients are either not too sick at all, just coming in for you know maybe chest pain or a simple procedure or something like that, or they're chronically ill. So I don't really see a lot of very, very, very sick people you know, acutely ill. However, there was one day when I had a patient that was coming in and she was coming in because she was having all of these weird bruises show up on her body for no apparent reason. And they drew some blood and they found out that she probably has acute lymphocytic leukemia, which is really bad and it's really sad. And basically it was really hard for me to compose myself. She was about 22, she was with her husband that was about the same age. They were so adorable and they had just started trying to start a family. I get, oh, I get like emotional thinking about it. But anyways, it was one of those situations where I was like, you know, you, you find yourself in these situations and you can just really become human and become compassionate. And, you know, I think that's okay. So. About avoiding tears, like obviously you have to compose yourself to a certain level. You need to be able to function and do your job. But being human with that person, I mean, I did shed some tears in the room, you know, with her. Not, not a lot, but you know, they asked me to pray with them. I prayed with them. 
you know, we're, I, I support anything. If, if they want to, you know, chant or dance or whatever they think will make them feel better, then I'll do it with them. I don't, you know, mind. I, I believe that, you know, healing is more in the head than anything else. So, you know, we support anything like that. But um, I remember praying with them. I shed some tears with them. And, you know, I just, I wish them the best. So when it comes to, like, emotional situations like that, it's okay. It's okay to be human. Like, you are... You're becoming a nurse because you love people, because you want to help. And you're probably just like me and just like every other nurse, well, most nurses, <laughs> shouldn't say every other nurse, but you're probably very, very intuitive and you're probably really, really the type of person that just cares about other people and you don't know why. And sometimes you wish you didn't care because life would be a lot easier if you didn't care, maybe. But that's you and you're becoming a nurse because you want to do this and you want to help people and sometimes you're helpless just like the patient and in that helplessness we just have to be as strong as we can and if we are not our strongest it's okay so I know that was kind of me just rambling but um, I think that it's really important for us to know that we're going to find ourselves in situations that are going to be very difficult to deal with and you know you're never going to be 100% ready for that kind of situation but I think that you'll find that you're going to be a lot stronger than you think once you are there. So um, another thing that I do is I just go back into my faith and I'm not a preacher or anything and I believe that everyone needs to believe what's right for them. But I just, you know, go into my faith and I really just, you know, believe that we are all here for a reason, that not any, there's not any struggles or circumstances that we go through that, you know, isn't going to make us a better person or the person that we're meant to be. So even though some people go through very painful and emotionally painful diagnosis and diseases, I don't understand it. None of us do. But um, somehow, some way, it's just my belief there's got to be something good that comes out of that. So thank you so much for your video request, and I love you guys. If you guys have any more video requests, just let me know. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe to the channel. And um, I can't wait to see you soon. Bye.